Joshua, Jesse, congratulations. You guys have landed in the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home for just to recreate an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is a Lockabar Axe. Good luck. We'll see you in four days. Good luck. Good luck. We're back at my home forge in Liverpool, and I'm ready to get started on the lock of our axe. Finishing something that's this big that I've never done before in such a short amount of time is a huge challenge. Forging everything by hand has its advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that you learn how to move steel pretty quickly, but the disadvantage is that it takes its toll on you physically. I'll be forged to width today, and I'll be forged to length today. I'm gonna make the best blade I can make, and hopefully, $10,000 axe. I have four days instead of the five days, so that means there's no time to waste in this contest. There's five pieces to this entire build, so getting everything to uh, mesh together perfectly, that's gonna be the biggest challenge. I know that when we get to the testing that I have to make sure that this thing is as sturdy and as stout as possible because they are gonna beat the ever-loving crap out of this thing. This is a war machine, so I wanna make sure that it is a lightweight blade. If the blade is too heavy, I mean, that could be the difference between you know winning and losing this competition. Today, I'm going to profile the blade and get the bevel on it. I also want to get that hook attached today, too, so it's gonna be a busy day. I forged out my hook, and as I'm grinding the hook, there's a crack in my hook, right down the middle. I don't wanna have to start the over again. I can't afford to lose any time today, and I need to do this again. Ah, uh, I don't have time to do things twice. I'm running a little behind today, so I don't have time to with it too much. Uh, I gotta kick it up a notch. Day four, got a lot of hand work that I have to do, a lot of hand sanding, polishing, gluing, so a lot of small, tedious work today. Eight and a half pounds. I'm about two and a half pounds over what I actually wanted to have it at. It's a little bit more difficult to swing and everything like that, and there's a couple of little tabs that I can cut off, the nuts and the bolts and everything like that, that's coming out for rivets. I shaved off a good pound, and it definitely feels much lighter. I hope that the weight isn't the determining factor when it comes down to the final judgment. This challenge was absolutely a wrecking ball, but I love this blade. All right, bladesmiths, this is the kill test. Now, to find out how lethal your weapons are, I will take your lock of bars and deliver killing blows on this pig carcass. Joshua, you're up first. You ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. I don't mind going first. Other than the fact that I might pass out because of anticipation, but I'm ready to see this thing get to work. All right, Joshua, first up, your blade, it's a pork chopper. <laughs> On its thrust, do you see the wound channel? It creates such a big, deep gash. It's fun to wield, it's sharp, and most importantly, it will kill. Good job. Thank you. All right, Jesse, your turn. You ready? Absolutely. Let's do it. I'm really anxious about this test. It's a little bit heavy. I'm hoping that that's not going to be a determining factor. I don't know how this is going to go. First up, 
Your blade has the weight that every chop into something wanna keep going. It wants to keep going and going and going to where pretty much took me with it. Good chops, good cuts, and more importantly, it will heal. Thank you. All right, up next, the strength test. Dave? To test the strength and overall construction of your weapons, I'll be hooking the shield, pulling it into place, and then attacking it with the blade. All right, Josh, you're up first. You ready? Oh, yeah. So first off, you took a little bit of deformation here, pretty much where that edge caught some of the studs on that shield. But it's still sharp. It's really a nicely built piece. It's got a good look to it. It's easy to wield. Everything's still solid. Strong axe, nicely done. Thank you. All right, Jesse, your turn. You ready? Absolutely. All right, Jesse, you can see on your blade here where you've taken a pretty good roll here, and this is sort of a roll and a chip. But everywhere else on this blade is still sharp, nicely done. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, next up, the sharpness test. And for that, I'll give you the Doug. This is the Sugar King Slice. Now, to find out how sharp your weapons are, I will take your weapons and deliver cuts across these shoe cane bundles. Josh, we are first. Ready for this? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, Joshua. You contoured this shaft here so that when you hold on to it, you can really tell where the edge is. I really like that. Overall, sir, your weapon is sharp. It cuts all the way through cleanly. It will cut. Thank you. All right, Jesse, your turn. You ready? You betcha. It feels like I might be kind of at a setback right now just because my edge seemed like it took more damage. It can come down to the finest details. All right, Jesse, the blade is heavy. It cuts, but also you can feel the weight behind it crush the rest of it. Overall, sir, for this test, it will cut. Thank you. Who's gonna win this challenge? I have no idea. We are neck and neck. It's really anybody's game right now. It's a toss up. Josh, Jesse, both of you guys brought in finale weapons that performed incredibly well in our tests. Only one of you can be the Forge to Fire champion. And that champion is... Josh, congratulations, you're the Forge and Fire champion. Jesse, unfortunately, your blade didn't make the cut. Jesse, you brought us a fantastic weapon, and this came down to the finest of details. Your weapon took a bit more damage, and your opponent's weapon was a little bit lighter and easier to control. For those reasons, we're letting you go. All right. Jesse, please surrender your weapon. Second place is, uh, it's not fun, but Josh brought a better blade. I gave him my best and I put my best work out there. I came here to prove to myself that I'm not, uh, you know, just a backyard knife maker. And I'm ecstatic that I made it this far. All right, Josh, congratulations. You're the Forged and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Good job, brother. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Please present your blade to the judges. 
<laughs> what? Are you kidding? Holy crap. I'm a Forged in Fire champion. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs>